Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to Scorched Earth. Today, uh, we're going to be doing a beginner's guide on how to start in Scorched Earth and not die. I mean, because the goal is uh, you want to be able to survive and live as long as possible until you actually find a place that is safe for yourself. And that's kind of the goal of Scorched Earth. Scorched Earth is quite a bit harder than the island. Uh, now, we're tre checking this out on Ark Survival Evolved, but it also will most likely apply at least most of it to Ark Survival Ascended. A lot of the visuals will change, but also I think it's about time I get one of these done as well. So, hey, uh, yeah, so once you uh, create your character, however you like to create it, make sure you name them uh, as well. But also, uh, we're going to be jumping in first off into where you spawn. Now, the different spawn spots on this, uh, there's quite a few of them. Um, as you go down through, now I have said repeatedly in the past that when it comes to Scorched Earth, uh, the spawn spots that you have, well, they says that they're easy, and then you have medium, and then you have hard. I would say that all of them are different versions of hard. This is just hard easy, this is hard easy, this is hard medium, and this is hard hard. So I would recommend that a few of these... <laughs> Uh, you kind of steer clear from, unless if you are absolutely uh, sure about what you're getting into. Now, I would say that the ones over here in the Midlands, they're not that easy. These will actually start you off in a spot where there's a lot of uh, crazy uh, dinos or, you know, wolves and stuff running around that would love nothing more than to taste on a nice and wonderful survivor freshly spawning into their area right so uh chances are you may die a few times when it comes around to your first little bit and also i would recommend not starting down here where it says midlands three south three things like that i would recommend starting in south medium four now this one right here um chances are you might die i mean i'm just saying you have no idea what's gonna be there when you spawn you might die you might not now there's a couple different things that i will show you uh with how to uh stay alive and let's this try this desert wasteland was a turning point for helena and let's click through that and now i have died in this scene right here sounds like there's something right behind us sounds like a water bug or a snake one of the two Yep, and that's a Microraptor. Okay, so uh, you want to head straight off towards this little bit over here. Microraptor. Okay, Microraptors are the fastest thing. There's no way I was going to outrun a 140 Microraptor. I had a terror bird. All right, so now that you've seen that, that's what happens. All right, so let's respawn there again. All right, now we want to head straight towards these little pillars, but then... Uh, see the pillars right here on the map? Find those, the three little ones with the little side one, and then go towards the right. Uh, these mesas over here, these are probably one of the easiest things. And make sure when you're on Scorched Earth, as soon as you land, that you're not sprinting unless you absolutely have to. You want to save that stamina, and you want to save that water. Because every time you regenerate water or health, you are regenerating or you are using up all your food and your water. So it's very, very important. You stay really on top of that. All right, so uh, now there's saber teeth and there's also... Thorny raptors over there. And since I'm on Survival Evolved, I'm going to be upping my movement speed. If you're on Survival Ascended, I would recommend upping your stamina at this point because our goal is to get across this gully and since there's a couple mo shops out here that are not getting chewed on i'm thinking this is safe now this right here i am going to sprint across go right through here once we're through there i'm not going to sprint anymore pick up some more stuff as for on decides he wants to circle me and I'm, when you're going through this, I would very much, uh, I mean, I would, I can't stress just how much I would say, I would recommend that you pay very close attention, not just to the things that, that are going to eat you, but also to the things that aren't going to eat you. 
Because if something, uh, say a raptor or a, uh, a terror bird or anything comes up and starts chewing on you, run to the herbivore, try to get the aggro converted over to whatever dino it is, so where it gives you, lets you get out of there. And also, if you're running low on water, you can punch these cactuses to replenish your oxygen, or not your oxygen, your water. And they will also give you cactus sap, but you can't really eat the cactus sap for too much of anything. You can eat berries for a little bit, which also another good thing with berries is they will slowly give you uh, food and water over time. So it's a good thing to eat up a bunch of them just so where it's constantly replenishing while you're sprinting and using up all your water and stuff like that. It really, really helps out. Because Scorched Earth is a dry, barren place with very little water and really, really high temperatures. Also, as we're doing this, I just heard something. All right, but yeah, as we're doing this, there's a bunch of heat going on. So, another thing we wanna do here is we want to learn as quick as possible this, 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 and this, the cloth armor. Now the cloth armor will actually prepare, will actually help you out a little bit in the desert heat. Not nearly as much as desert cloth armor will, which you won't unlock until 28, which is a long ways off from this point. Because right now, that's not helping us out at all. All right, so uh, let's see, moon speed. Now this will actually make us a little bit cooler as we're going through this. And then also pay pay close attention to when your health and your water stop, slow, uh, stop slowly going up, which means that your berries are done. Let's get a little bit more of this stuff. We've got a long sprint that we've got to do. Well, it's not a long sprint, but it is a sprint. All right, so now that we're up here at the mesas, uh, come around here to this little lip right here because there's three different levels here There's the top level. There's the mid level and then there's the bottom level We want to stay on the mid level as much as possible because the mid level actually has some big rocks Okay, that's not gonna help us We definitely want to make sure we don't over encumber ourselves here and every time that you pick up stone on this, you pick up sand along with it. And sand is really, really heavy. And when you're just starting out, you don't have the weight to carry all that stuff. So get that stuff out of your inventory as quick as possible. It will help. All right. And then we just kind of keep uh, this little ravine right next to us on our left and run down along through here. And work our way over like this. All right, see, there's raptors up ahead, stuff like that. We, uh, let's see, we're going to need to get a stone right here. All right, need to get some wood. All right, there's a couple raptors down there. Right, that's the direction we're going, or at least any direction towards water. And that that one right there is the easiest source of water early on in the game. But it is really rough to get to it. get our pick and our hatchet up and going and also it's very important that when you're just starting out on scorched earth don't get too attached to all your gear because chances are you may lose it quite often
craft up a few spears. Spears are definitely going to help us out. And as soon as we're done crafting spears, we're just going to get rid of all this stuff that's holding up our weight. All right, so now we've got something that can kind of defend ourselves. All right, I would recommend... I mean, this isn't the only spot to spawn. There are other spots to spawn. This is just the one I recommend the most. Uh, there are some other ones when it comes around to the different obelisks and such like that. Um, the blue obelisk is very up in the top left-hand corner. Uh, it's right in between the mountains, about 2040 on the map. And then there's the red obelisk is over around 6025 down there. And then there's the green obelisk, which is over around, uh, I want to say 4575, somewhere around there. And yeah, it's those are spots that also have water as well around them. So if you need water really bad and you don't know where to go, you can look for obelisks in order to uh, go over and get water that way. All right, now these raptors down below, they're going to be dangerous because raptors have big, sharp, pointy teeth and we don't want them to uh, eat us. So we're going to see if there's anything that can actually pull their aggro. And there are capros over along the distance. All right, so for this, what we're going to probably want to do is run across over on this side. And follow that path right along in there. Right over there. Because the raptors are down below. If we can go without getting their aggro, it should be good. And also, we need to keep an eye out for jerboas. If we can find a jerboa... And I think I see one. If we can find a jerboa, we can tame it. And jerboas are extremely, extremely helpful. Is that a jerboa or is that just a shadow? Alright, and jerboas you can actually tame just by uh, punching them in the back of the head a couple times. And then throwing some of your berries on them. Alright, raptors down below to our right. Wait for them to move off. All right, now we sprint. Nope. And that's the danger right there. All right, now we're not even going to pay any attention to our gear. Our gear doesn't matter. All right, uh, let's see. So let's pop back down there. Now, if we can get our gear, that'll be a plus. If we can't, it doesn't really matter. What matters is that dire wolf right up ahead of us. All right, now we're doing this run again. Let's see if we can actually get over there. All right, get some more berries in us. Get ready for this run. Then also, just remember, whenever you see water, even though water is the source of life, water is also extremely dangerous because chances are that water has quite a few capros in it. So you want to pay very close attention. Now, Capros, if you've never played um, on Ark, Capros are crocodiles that will leap at you out of the water, grab you, chew on you until you are dead. Yeah. And they're, they're, they're fun. <laughs> All right, now I was able to get my gear. But don't count on it all that often. I'm out of water, but by eating the berries, I'm stopping myself from losing a whole ton of weight. Or a whole ton of, uh... There we go. By eating the berries, I'm able to, uh... Stop myself from eating a whole ton... Of health. Because it's slowly building up. And now let's get over inside of here. 
All right, Raptor just aggroed on something down there. I'm going to take full advantage of that now that the Raptor's um, eating something. And just sprint to right over here because this area over here, and I'll show you on the map here in just a sec, is shaded. Which means that it, uh, the temperature, and you can see the temperature by pressing H, will actually show you uh, um, how hot it is in the area. Right now it's 84 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, which means that if we were to uh, gather up berries right here, slowly over time, since we're not hot or uh, superheated, we can actually regain our water just by eating berries. And this is kind of what we're going to be having to do for the next little bit is just eat berries until we can take a look. And I do believe there is a Capro down below us. So that's kind of the thing. Yes, there is. There is a Capro down below. Now, we can actually kill this Capro. We have the technology. Or we can lure him away. Whoa, hello. All right, now that he's there, and there's raptors there, well, let's watch and wait, see what he does. And this is kind of what you have to do a lot of times is just watch and wait for your moment and then go. And then we'll go find another spot. But there's water right down below us plus metal. This right here on the map is actually a really good spot for beginning bases. So, yeah, make sure you're paying very close attention to areas like this. Now, these raptors over here, we probably could run them over to uh, something down the way. I'm just going to sit here and look at this Capro for a moment. Also, another good thing to keep an eye out for is when you get high enough level to actually start making bolas. Now, bolas are level 9. As soon as you uh, are able to craft those, I recommend you getting some of them. They will help out quite a bit in keeping a bunch of dinos off you. Now, there's a reason why Scorched Earth is so much more dangerous than other ones. Because Scorched Earth is just insane with the difficulty level. Just because of... The concentration of dinos and the heat combined. It really, really will get you. All right, now that Capra over there, he just wandered off the side. So that gives us a little bit of an opening. It's where we can actually kind of just get past him. As long as we don't aggro him, we're fine. And here we go. This is a really nice, safe spot. Now, once again, like the other place, before you go down into the water, you want to make sure there's no capras down there. And there's three different um, pools here. There's one down there, one right here, and one over here. And this uh, ravine just keeps going along through the area. So where you can actually... Yeah, he's coming over this way. Oh, is he is he moving towards this water? If he's moving towards with this water, we can go take over his original one. Eventually we'll be able to kill him. But for now, this is kind of what we have to do. There we go. All right, now up here, now we can actually get started with a few different things. I would recommend that you uh, actually make yourself a campfire as quick as you possibly can. And I do have S Plus installed on here. But then again, you know, yeah, it's uh, Arc Survival Evolved. All right, so uh, we definitely want to get a foundation and a sleeping bag. Although getting hide uh, to begin with is going to be a little bit tricky. But you can get hide... From these raptors, actually, if we're careful.
think what I want to do, what I what I would recommend doing is actually try to make up as many, like, just build stuff. Uh, just craft things where you get XP if you stumble upon a... If you stumble upon a, uh, um, oh, a note, those can help out as well. It's where you can get the XP boost that way. But always pay very, very close attention when you are crafting stuff on Scorched Earth. Because chances are things will come and eat you. And also, that be careful as well, because thatch actually weighs more than uh, the sum of its parts. Let's get a storage box up and going. Just where we can unload a bunch of this stuff. It's where we can have it, but also it's not going to be taking up all of our inventory. All right. And also remember, just gathering uh, resources will also help level you up. Every swing of the a hatchet or the pick actually helps you level up quite a bit. All right, uh, so what we're also going to be working on is we're going to be working on towards getting a mortar and pestle up and going as quick as possible, but also we need hide for that. And for um, the hide, and since we can't take out the uh, raptors down below us, uh, we're going to go out and see if we can go uh, get some low-hanging fruit and see if we can go find ourselves that has some hide. Now, I know they're cute and cuddly, but jerboas are amazing sources of hide. Let's pay very close attention to the raptors. All right, let's go out and see if we can go find something. All right, also, there's several Ankies here. Now, that you could actually just take, and we could aggro the Ankies and kind of lure them over here. Now, Ankies, they'll hold their aggro for a little while, but as long as you're not hitting them, they'll kind of just follow you. It's like this guy right here, and Ankies are great weapons to use against raptors, because raptors love Ankies, but raptors always like dying to Ankies. Now, he's still following me. I'm not sure where his buddy went. Hey, right. he's no longer following me. Now, we could also just kill him. That hurt. All right, now we're just gonna wait for his aggro for him to de-aggro, which won't take too long. Right, there we go. Now he's done. 
Oh no, he's still coming. But yeah, as soon as he goes over and he uh, encounters these raptors, which shouldn't take too long, we could actually kind of make it happen as well. Just by going over, running um, the uh, raptors into this guy. Which is definitely a thing you can do. Alright, it looks like the raptors have made contact. But the Anki is too busy doing other stuff. Okay, well, that happened. All right, now this is perfect. Although there is a scorpion over there. Let's get this and get out of here. There we go. There's some hide. That should be enough for us for a little while. Let's get out of here because we're busy dying from this heat. Very quickly, I might add. Okay, so we have our hide, and we're good. Now we can actually take out the raptors. Now, I am making this uh, beginner's guide tutorial with uh, uh, the understanding that if you're playing this, since it is an expansion, that you do have some ideas about how to play the game. If you um, don't know how, um, if this is your first time playing the game, I would recommend you go watch my... Uh, survival guide or my beginner's guide on the island because that right there will go through all the individual things about you know what the berries do the difference between torpor um damage and regular damage and that is a prayer sword that is a very good um thing to spawn down here but yeah i um i'm making this guide with the assumption that you have already played the game before All right, and now that we also have uh, meat, we can actually cook it so where we can start healing up a little bit. At least a little bit faster. Now that we've got the hide, we can actually start making uh, some uh, a mortar and pestle. And that right there should give us level 9. All right, uh, now with level nine, we want to make sure we learn the bola as quick as possible. The bola is your... It, it, it's how you stay a lot... Oh, no, we're level eight. We still need to level up first. Uh, the bola is how you stay alive on Scorched Earth. Um, it really... I mean, at least in the early game. It really, really, really does make a difference, and it helps you out. Also, the boomerang is absolutely amazing. The boomerang uh, does some really cool stuff. It does torpor damage, plus also it will um, be your first ranged weapon. But you can knock this thing out, knock things out with this a lot more efficiently than the slingshot even, which is really good. They do break, but their chance to break is a lot uh, different than, say, like the spear, which breaks very quickly. So I would recommend definitely making yourself bolas and a boomerang as quick as possible. Also, it's very important that you understand that spoil timers are reduced in half on Scorched Earth. Which makes it even more, um, even more difficult. The difficulty of this has been ramped up a lot. All right, so let's go get uh, this right here. We've got a bolas on our hot bar. We've got sand and the hatchet, just like uh, the, um, just like getting stone out of the rocks. It gets um, sand much more efficiently than uh, the pick does. And that's really one of the biggest changes. Also, cactuses. You can harvest cactuses to get water by either punching them or using a tool to um, harvest them. I'm not seeing any of those. All right, so now that we've got this, now we can actually kill these guys. We can kill 
Uh, the Raptors easily. Well, not super easily, but easily enough. I want to make sure I'm not over encumbered when we do this. Is that Parasaur dead already? There they are. And there's Capro. We'll avoid him. Also, rocks truly are your friends. And that guy's out. All right, so now we can use some of this meat here to either tame him or kill him. And I would rather tame him. So yeah, that's actually how you get started on Scorched Earth. Honestly, you don't have to go to the entrance that I went to, but it does, or to the spawn spot that I uh, uh, recommend, but it does help out. It does make things a lot easier uh, in order to get started. And now we're on our way to actually succeeding in this. It's just a matter of time. And that's really it. The, the key thing with Scorched Earth is find your foothold. Once you have your foothold, uh, kind of... Uh, Jump into it, let it uh, actually help you out as you're going through. Don't be afraid about uh, if you die, um, getting back your stuff, at least in the early game, and then finding a nice base area that you can make your own, get your tames, and then all of a sudden this game is just like Ark and on any other map and it's really good the the initial difficulty of it is rather ramped up once you get the hang of it trust me it will actually be a pretty damn cool experience i have a ton of fun on scorched earth i hope you guys will and i hope this guide has helped you out at least in getting started a little bit giving you some ideas on how to get your foothold and then also how to uh find a nice base area that is cool because it does matter where you put your base and that guy over there is going to aggro on us eventually if he doesn't aggro on other things. I hope he aggro's on other things and not us. Pigs are extremely dangerous in Scorched Earth. They will chase you down a long ways and eat you. But I do think that's where I'm going to end it. So, hey, I hope the video helped you out. Um, I know it's not a uh, straight-up beginner's guide about everything. This is mostly just to, hey, let's get you st uh, established. Even And uh, this assumes that you have already played the game before. Because, like I said, it's an expansion. So, hey, I hope you uh, liked the video. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button. I really appreciate that. If you're new around here, subscribe. And until next time, this is Flinger. And take it easy, everybody. And also, uh, yeah, I'll see everybody in either this or an ASA. And take it easy, everybody.